Text 30 Among the Daityas, demons, I am the devoted Prahalad. Among subduers, I am time. Among beasts, I am the lion. And among birds, I am Garuda. Diti and Aditi are two sisters. The sons of Aditi are called Adityas and the sons of Diti are called Daityas. All the Adityas are devotees of the Lord and all the Daityas are atheistic. Although Prahlad was born in the family of the Daityas, he was a great devotee from his childhood. Because of his devotional service and godly nature, he is considered to be a representative of Krishna. There are many subduing principles, but time wears down all things in the material universe and so represents Krishna. Of the many animals, the lion is the most powerful and ferocious, and of the million varieties of birds, Garuda, the bearer of Lord Vishnu, is the greatest. Text 31 Of purifiers, I am the wind. Of the wielders of weapon, I am Ram. Of fishes, I am the shark. And of the flowing rivers, I am the Ganga. Of all the aquatics, the shark is one of the biggest and certainly the most dangerous to man. Thus, the shark represents Krishna. Text 32 Of all creations, I am the beginning and the end and also the middle, O Arjun. Of all sciences, I am the spiritual science of the self and amongst logicians, I am the conclusive truth. Among the created manifestations, the first is the creation of the total material elements. As explained before, the cosmic manifestation is created and conducted by Mahavishnu and then again it is annihilated by Lord Shiva. Brahma is the secondary creator. All these agents of creation, maintenance and annihilation are incarnations of the material qualities of the Supreme Lord. Therefore, he is the beginning, the middle and the end of all creations. For advanced education, there are various kinds of books of knowledge, such as the four Vedas, their six supplements, the Vedanta Sutra, books of logic, books of religiosity and the Puranas. So altogether, there are 14 divisions of books of education. Of these, the book which represents spiritual knowledge in particular, the Vedanta Sutra, represents Krishna. Among logicians, there are different kinds of arguments. Supporting one's argument with evidence that also supports the opposing side is called Jalpa. Merely trying to defeat one's opponent is called Vitanda, but the actual conclusion is called Vada. This conclusive truth is a representation of Krishna.